right guys, welcome back. I am about to shut off on what is gonna be probably the hardest run of my entire career. We've got six drops, they're all little stores, they're all tight, I've looked them up, it's gonna be absolutely horrible. I just got this video up, so I literally just set that to public, and now I'm setting off to go do this. I've got a four hour ride up to Minnesota where we're gonna start, and guys it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight it's gonna be bad but we're gonna get her done let's go I can just unplug it and it'll stop, but my engine light stays on. So yes, I know my engine light is on. We don't need 150,000 comments about my engine light. That drives me crazy. But I hope the train is still here because I was just here a minute ago and the train was just sitting here. Yeah, look at this, look at this. That is so sweet. I want to go play on it so bad. trailer but it's getting loaded for me to go to Florida oh and you guys wait till I well are you gonna see this video before that one yeah this video should come out Sunday that's my game plan because today's Wednesday and I just put one up so this one will come out Sunday I'm gonna get the uh, vehicle next Wednesday and then the so uh, so next Wednesday, you guys will probably get a video on it itself. And then the Sunday after that, hopefully you're going to get the video of me going out and taking it to Redneck Yacht Club. But if you're on my Instagram, Life Behind the Wheel 445, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you should. Because also on my Instagram, if you go to the link in the bio, you can get to the merch, you can get to the Amazon storefront. You can get to my Spotify playlist. You can get to everything. So, you guys should definitely do that, okay? But, I can't. 
catch you in a minute here. We got, I'm going to try and keep the video short because we got six drops to do. Or is it seven? Six to seven drops tomorrow. And then I actually got a bunch of pickups, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the drops because it's going to be enough video just doing all that. So we'll get there. Come on. Guys, listen to this. So my, I, you put socks on the, the rubber mounts on the hood and put some grease and it stops squeaking. Mine are wore out. Listen. So those are making noise. My microwave's making noise. My back cabinet's rattling. I'm about to go insane. I'm not going to lie to you. And then my, my straight pipes, which are awesome, but I tell you, after a while, they'll get to you. And uh, I also wanted to touch base on another thing. Like, are you guys enjoying the other content? Like, I am, like, whenever I go home and stuff, I'm showing you guys what I like to do, and I am putting a lot of work into those videos and spending a ton of money to get you guys cool stuff to see. And I, I, I mean, I tell you, they I mean, they're, they're all, they just, they're like, and so YouTube gives you a rank of one through 10 where your video lands for like, you know, how like how it performs right out the gate. And those videos, they just do horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I feel like, you know, I mean, they do good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they get like 20,000 views, but then they kind of plane off. But I mean, it takes a while. I mean, and I know you guys come here for trucking stuff and that's what the channel is about, trucking. But I thought being a bunch of people and guys, you know, that like trucking, that you guys would like seeing motorcycles and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And like the Ranger, like I thought you guys were going to blow up for the Ranger. I really did. I thought you guys were just going to eat that up. And a lot of you like it, but it's like out of 80,000 people, almost 80,000 subscribers, only like 10,000 people look at it. I was like, man. That hurts, but I mean, I, it, it's just, I guess that's just how how it goes. I mean, I don't know. But I do have some very loyal subscribers, and you guys are the real MVPs, and you're the ones that I keep on posting stuff for. And uh, I hope you guys like this next thing that I'm getting because I really like it, and you're gonna see a lot of it because I plan on taking it to every mud event in Florida because I've never been able to afford something like this before in my life and i am super excited to finally have the opportunity to have something like this and get to play with it and do stuff and share the experience with you guys and i'm going to do videos in it just like i do in the truck going to mud events and shit oops but um first things first it's spring lift right now so we're gonna have to go and get it four length right off the bat like that's pretty much like the first thing that's getting done to it is i'm giving it to my buddy and he's gonna put four link in it with big coil overs and uh, limiting straps because i want to be able to jump it i want to jump it that's the goal for that is i want to jump it some a little bit at least or like whenever you romp on the throttle it sinks all the way down in the back kind of thing you know because right now it's all just uh you leaf spring so it won't do all that but we're gonna get there but i'm gonna stop talking y'all's ear off now we're just gonna drive Ooh, excuse 
excuse me, blind. And uh, it's still gonna be really interesting because he's got a T660 and even for him, he's like, it's tight. And so, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be really, really interesting to say the least. But just wanted to update you guys. We're about to come around this turn, so I figured I'd let you guys have it.
If I'm out of water. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm pissed. This is not gonna be a good day. At all.
and season season. Got it. Just got it going a little bit more. Right there. one I gotta go inside and unload it they don't open till 4 30 so I got 30 minutes I was trying uh I hope I got a bottle of water in the back I don't know about so all right first one's done here that one was nice and easy and Dayka was getting all mad because I was in the way well he can eat one I take him three times to back up and that's what it took me Come on guy, I'm on a road tractor. So I got this pallet here to the back because that one's gonna be a hand unload. I got the rest of them up there. It's like rain snowing. My mirrors, I can't see out of them. I look like hell regardless. I mean, look at me. Oh, day. I just tell you, I fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> All right, so now, we're gonna go look at what my buddy told me, showed me. About this next one. Oh man. Everything is a mess. one should be easy come in this way come there back up right there let's confirm mm, yep just as he told me We're 20 minutes away. All right, let's get on over there. Guys, I'm sorry my truck is a mess. I've just been working my butt off. All right, let's go. Oh, jabbed that brake on accident. Driving in this jacket, it restricts your movement, which isn't 
good when you drive a big old truck. Come on. I wish I had my trailer so I could see what my wheels back there were doing whenever I come around turns, but I guess I can't always be spoiled. <clears throat> Alright, this is an easy one. The next one's going to be hard. Oh yeah. These first two, first two are bigger stores. The next one we're going to is very small. And it doesn't have a loading dock like this. Oh, I just want to walk, clean my truck.
All right, there's that. All right, so it'll open the door. Got my ton of paperwork. So that's third one. This is this one that I'm at right here. There we go. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot. I gotta tell you about the Esker's wallet. I love this thing. They're the sponsor. Well, they're not a sponsor. They're an affiliate. So, I'll tell you guys about that on the way to the next one. Okay, guys. We're going to the tough one now. So, this is it. So, basically, what I'm going to try and do... I can't come in there. I can't come in this way. So, I'm going to come down this road. Hang a left this way. And then back up in there that way. That's all I can do. Only thing I can come up with. Five minutes. As long as we can get there before the world wakes up, I think we're going to be okay. Because that way I won't have to worry about um, people coming down the road. I might even get away with pulling in the parking lot, but... I don't think I'm going to even attempt it. I've got to 
get up in there. So I'm going to do this. I'll get back with you guys. Alright. So Mike said they're not going to get here till about 6.37. Which means I might be able to take a little nappy poo. But I've got to go in between these dumpsters right here. It's going to be great. Oh, that looks like a dock door too. That's got some plate thing. So I've got to go right here. Awesome. Alright, let's try it. Huh. We'll try something else too. No, oh, no, see that won't look right. Actually, I'll do this. I got you guys. One second. This stupid thing, but the thread's different in here, so it won't do it. So let's try and do this.
upside knob right now. Sucks. I have zero grip on this son of a steering wheel. Calm down. All right, we got this. We got this. We got this. If you get frustrated, you'll never get it. I'm, oh no! That was pointing down the whole time with my feet. in there. enough room to follow back right here so I'm cutting a little bit too close so pull forward get the wheels past the trailer cut it yep that's what we're gonna do you gotta get the center of the wheels past this dumpster and then cut it and I should put it right in oh, it's cold my nose is all running Look at this one more time. Alright. Alright, we got this. Alright. 
past it. Now we're gonna go far right. We gotta get up underneath. I think I did it. Let's stop. Let's see what we're working on. I've got 50 acres over here. Let's see where I'm at over here. All right, our rotation is good. Just keep putting her in. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of room back here. So if I can use the dumpster as a reference, Let's kick the trailer all the way in, put her on back here where we're gonna hand unload it. And I'll open the doors by pulling forward a little bit. Oh, yep. All right. I need me some fingerless gloves to hold on to the steering wheel. Not. Nah. I am about to ditch this damn steering wheel though. How this goes. All right, so we're going a little bit too far up. We gotta get the truck underneath the trailer. Guys, gotta understand whenever you're doing backings and stuff like this that as your truck is coming back up underneath the trailer your trailer is still gonna rotate so like how I was saying we needed to cut it in it did it trying to get the nose back up under now I think trailer this way and the butt of it that way and I'd be dead center on that door that's what I'm gonna do actually what I'm gonna do is pull forward that way then go full lock to the right and then come up underneath it like this so then it pushes it in there let's do it and then I'll leave some space this way for people now I'm gonna open my doors I don't know you see where we're at And then I'm gonna go to reply to comments on in YouTube for you guys. See how the truck is now? How the nose is off that way? We're kicked up underneath the trailer more. We pushed the trailer this way. And that brought the back of the trailer because the rotation on the tandems 
swings your tail because you got tail swing. So we're up underneath, we rotated it, and now we're in that door better. It doesn't really help us considering the fact I'm gonna have to pull forward to open the doors anyway. But now we are, ooh, look at that. Can't get much better than that. Well, you can get a lot better, you can be perfect, but it'll do. So I'm gonna take me a little nap, we'll probably get some comments on YouTube. And whenever they get here, we'll open the doors, get this off, then we got a couple more to get off. Five to be exact. Oh, six, five, four, three. We got three to get off. So I'm actually gonna pick the truck up a little bit because it's driving me up the wall. It makes me feel weird. So guess what? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Don't forget, like, subscribe, merch, come on. But I got water. All right, guys, I'm here to tell you, the places I've been today have been the nicest people I have ever met, ever. Just happy, happy people. So, uh, I got some sleep. I got about an hour nap. After replying to as many comments as I could from last night's video, and I took a nap. And now I hand unloaded that one little pallet, no big deal. And now I gotta get up out of this joint. We gotta get the rest of these off and then go start doing pickups. So I found a bottle of water, so that made me really happy. And I've been saving my last chew. It's gonna be a little tricky. He said it's gonna be tight. Oh no. I already messed up. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. I went in the wrong spot. a dummy because I am one wait I'm so confused right now I did this all wrong I did this totally wrong oh wait no that's the road I was supposed to come in on oh actually I think it might have helped myself out for making that turn because that's where I gotta go You know what? 
I think that actually worked out in my favor. I'm kind of glad I messed up. But yeah, this is where it's going to get tricky. There is no way. This is nuts. Looks like they designed that. I've got a caution cone right now. So, I gotta go where that truck is. Don't turn my camera off, you'll figure it out. All right, just talk to that guy. I gotta wait for him to move. Now I can get in here rather easily since there's no cars over here at Wells Fargo. He gets out of the way, slap her in there, on to the next one. Come on, All right, guys. They gotta just move for us. Now it's time to do like kind of a wonky. What's he doing? Kind of like a wonky blind side, a little bit. open the doors because this looks like it's going to go pretty smooth. Just got to slide it right in there. It should be quick and painless. All I can think about is how much of you. I'm so excited. I think I might do something to do this video for you guys. For the ones that watch the whole thing. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's coming.
look at that. All right, guys, this is gonna be the interesting one, one of them. I'm gonna have to go in, then blindside into the driveway, come up, then blindside back into the dock. Cars are gonna be my issue with this one. back in there a little more more angle for me so I can get the truck spun around into this dock there's two trucks and the dock so it looks like I'm gonna have to hit the lower one which is not gonna be fun for this cowboy I'm going in basically blind all right I gotta get out and see what's going on now Dang, nabbit. It looks like I might be going right in the hole perfect. All right. So if I keep coming back, swinger, pull up that way. Oh, that's not a dock. All right, guys, I've got to go figure out. I've got to figure something out. I got to go in here and talk to people. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I got my blinker on still. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. 
I'm just gonna kind of start backing up. Oh golly, I'm beating the hell out of my poor girl here. I can't see. Get out and look. Let's see what my angle's looking like. Okay. I keep rotating. Oh yeah, we're good. Keep rotating. Go that way. We got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Trying to rotate a lot. My steering's not happy with it. Let's see what my angle is like. I think this car is moving now. I should be okay. Just follow it around town. Full lock. Trailer will bump over just enough. I missed the other guy. I missed this car. Look at that. Look at that. God dang it, you'd think I was a professional. Hell yeah, brother. Come on. Get these doors open and get in here. Get some funny looks. Have a camera on my head. They just don't understand. I got people wanting to see this. Oh, oh now that car's gonna move. I don't like it here when it was just a mess. <laughs> and now, everything's gone. Slipper on back in there now. on top of a yellow line is what it fancies oh I hate when trailers do that you hit the brakes and the trailer like locks up throws your ass up in the air Hey, Gypsy, I got here first. Dawn. All right, let's go get it on. All right, guys, we're coming up on our sixth one. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My buddy said it's it's a tight one. So he said that these last three were gonna be the interesting ones. So we just had that one. He said this one's gonna be, he was laughing pretty hard about this one. So. Oh, that dolmet. to get through there well I guess they're not gonna drop it so I'll turn this back off the guy came out the guy came out and uh moved some pallets I was waiting for that board's head truck to move because I didn't want to go through that tight spot but uh he helped me get through there but he didn't want to be on camera he seen my GoPro and he like said he didn't want to be on camera uh, all right that one got a bag on somebody out for you. These cars right here. No big deal, just taking up the road. Everybody watch out. Go take this out, then we got one more. Alright, I figured this looks pretty cool. as the day cab. Oh boy. No parking here to drive by. Yep. 
forget the big semi nose hanging out in the road. Oh, son of a... To get down to the next one I'm gonna do that i don't know i think it's gonna be a little bit tricky but we'll figure it out um hopefully the weight restriction is after the bell the view valley view road it's probably not i'll figure it out back there and I just passed a sign that said no trucks but it said it after I passed the only last spot to turn but he's not coming after me so that's a good sign like how that curb was out there is why I couldn't come from the other direction so I believe this is the dock that I've got to hit awesome so I'm going to open my doors up and then this is gonna be, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be real tight. Uh, all right, let's do this. And then after this, I gotta start doing pickups, like instantly after this, so. something like this getting close and then kind of throw 
throw it around. guys have been able to see out of this mirror this whole time. Identify as a day cab. Oh no, no, no. Yee yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Bam. Now you guys see that? That was right here at this moment that I made this video. All right, let's 
go get this stuff off of here. And I'm probably gonna put me getting out of here in here. And then uh, I'm gonna end it right there. So, don't forget. Oh, I never talked about the Esker Smart Wallet. I'm gonna do a professional video on it, but you guys really need to check this thing out. They have a bunch of different wallets awesome. there. RFD blocker, come with a smart card. You can ping your phone, watch this. I'm gonna get my money out of there. Now, it should. Nah, see, I don't have the app open. Actually, my Bluetooth's turned off. Oh, nope, it did work. See? So, if you lose your phone, you can use your wallet and dang it, and then vice versa. You can go in the phone app and also ring your wallet. Stop! It's gonna make you find it, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, so link is down in the description below for that. I'll be doing a good video on it, a proper review. But there's just a little, you know, quick tutorial of it. I absolutely love it. It is awesome. And, uh, yeah, so you guys will be getting a video on that. Well, a little ad kind of thingy. But also, I started Amazon Storefront. So if you guys want to buy some of the stuff that I have, I put, like, the lasers and stuff on there. And the, the pit vipers that are on there are fake ones. They're not the real ones, so don't get mad at me. I just put them on there because they're the ones I got if you guys wanted to see them and a few other things i couldn't find my exact headlights and stuff but if you use my link whenever you go to amazon it helps out the channel and helps me get stuff for the channel so whenever you're on amazon use the amazon store link instagram all that is in the bio down there my email for business stuff only please and uh yeah have a good one don't forget like subscribe do all that fun stuff and the next video you're going to see is most likely going to be the mud truck that I am so killer excited for. It's not even funny. So have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.